Hello Anne, we're in the studio where we paint away the stress of everyday life. Yeah, I'm still there on the canvas. I'm still, I'm, I haven't got around to doing it yet. <laughs> I just don't know where the time is. Okay, so uh, I had a, 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 a question the other day from one of my lovely subscribers. Thank you all out, you wonderful people of the interwebs out there. And um, I just want to say thank you very much. What happens if you don't gesso cardboard or even a canvas? Well, I don't know, but let's give it a try, shall we? Now, I have got a complete mess of my palette today. Let me show you quickly how messy my canvas is. We'll talk about the colours as we progress. Look at the state of that. Well, that's what happens when you've just completed a painting. And yeah, I'm going to use as many of them colours up as I possibly can. And why and not? So without further ado, let's have a look at what we're going to do today. Okay, we've got our cardboard. It's just a scrap of the cardboard. You can see it's not even cut straight. And um, I, I know not everybody have got um, art materials at the moment um, because of COVID-19. Um, I'm struggling to get stock the shop, which is www.plotify.co.uk. I'm also struggling um, for things like canvases and things like that as well. So I do understand your plight. Okay, this might be a total disaster, darlings. <laughs> this might be an actually total disaster because I've never really tried this before. But I thought, okay, I got a little bit of white. Here we are, we just got a bit of white and let's just chuck a bit of this yellow color in it. And let's just put a little bit of white and yellow acrylic onto the cardboard and you should see this actually dry virtually instantly because that's the trouble with this particular cardboard that I'm using today is it's going to go it's going to suck it in it's going to suck the paint dry it really is now that's why I like using gessos and and, and I like definitely like to prepare um, my canvas as much as possible so um, I thought just to pick up a bit of blue mix that in there like that a bit more white maybe let's just get that color in and it's just just basically acrylic and, and my medium mix my medium mix is available on the website at www.cly5art.co.uk that helps the underbinding of paint and it does help it acts like a retarder acts like a, a flow improver um, it's quite a good universal type of thing to do. There we go. So let's just smooth that in with the brush. What a wonderful looking background that is. I'm quite impressed. <laughs> let's get a bit more blue in there actually. It looks quite watercolory, doesn't it? Is it watercolory? Watercolory, is that a word? Watercolory? I don't know. Is that a word? Could be. That could be a Welsh word. Yes, that could be a Welsh word. Watercolory. Let's get a bit of burnt umber in that. There we go. Let's just get a bit of colour in there. A bit of white. Dum dee dum dee dee. And this is what happens when you're just playing and having fun, using up a little bit of paint. And so far, so far, I haven't mentioned, I have not mentioned what paint I'm using. So I'm. I'm using my own paint, obviously. Um, this is what I make myself, again, available on the website, www.cly5art.co.uk. Um, but I got some cerulean blue and some mid-yellow, which I'm using here. Now, as you can see, I'm using a bit of cerulean blue in into the water. I'm using um, a yellow, cadmium yellow, and cerulean blue, and that's going to make a green. So I got the cerulean blue in the water, and um, uh, cerulean blue tends to be um, more on the um, green side. So it makes wonderful, wonderful greens, as you can see. It really does. Actually, I'm going to put a bit of water in that. I haven't used any medium mix as such um, onto this yet. It's just what was on there. So we got a bit of green there. Let's get some white back in here. Like this. There we go. A bit more blue. It's a wonderful green. It's a wonderful blue for seas as well, I think, because it's if you mix it with a little bit of yellow, you get that you get that watercolour type of not a watercolour 
colour, a, a, a water colour, as in what colour water is. <laughs> That's not easy for me to say. Okay, let's wash my brush. Um, it's nearly dry. It really is. Let's get some. Let's get some. Cerulean blue. What's this? That's burnt umber. Let's put some burnt umber into that. And let's get a bit of white. You can see I've darkened that cerulean blue down a little bit with a bit of burnt umber. Which is going to give us a nice sky effect. Is it harder to to work with? Well, it is. It is. But I'm I'm telling you what I'm I'm, I'm enjoying um, with this particular painting because I I never painted on this type of cardboard without gesso. I'll be honest with you, but I'm finding it's looking very watercolor. Um, and the proper watercolours, you know, when you do watercolour paintings, I mean, no, not the colour of water. <laughs> it's got that little look about it. It really has. Mm, I'm quite enjoying this. That's really nice. Getting a nice blend of colour in there. You know, it's nice pastel. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah, it's a pastel colour. A pastel colour. Let's get a bit more burned umber up in that sky. There you go. Let's put a little bit more burned umber up in that sky there. Let's just get that darker colour there, maybe. Maybe it's just a little bit of storm clouds on the horizon, maybe just picking that up. There we go. Let's get some more white into this sky. Yeah, it's quite nice. I quite like it. I quite like. I quite like. And the thing is, painting on cardboard like this you don't really need my medium mix because it's going to go if you're painting on papers and stuff like that you don't need it you don't why why don't you need it Clive? well because it's going to soak into the paper and if it soaks into the paper then it's not going to peel away that's why it's looking a little bit more pastely it's got that pastely look about it but that's quite a nice warm that's quite a nice sky i think it really is it's looking a bit green, but oof, I don't mind. We said you can't have green in the sky. Didn't say anything about Monet. That's because I had a bit of blue paint on my brush, but it doesn't matter. We don't worry about things like that. I'm going to put a bit of land in there like that. Maybe there's a few Welsh mountains up there. There's a few Welsh mountains. A lot of sheep up there. <laughs> let's get a bit of blue. Let's get a touch of, let's just, just get a touch of cardamom right into that. That's going to make it more, that's going to make it a little bit purpley. Which is what we want. I'm mixing all these paints on my brush and I'm not washing my brush very much so. I'm just going to put a bit of a purpley colour just here and there and there and here and here and there and everywhere. Like that. Wow. Now I'm going to wash my brush. Now I'm going to wash my brush. So what I want to do now is get some white. I'm just going to put a bit of mist in. Could be a nice warm summery type of day, couldn't it? It could. That's what it is, it's a warm summery type of day. I'm gonna I'm trying not to I really am trying. I, I don't want to um use another colour. I don't. So I got Mars black and cardinum red. A cadmium um, yellow, sorry, Mars black and cadmium red. Mars black's got got a red in it, a blue in it, sorry. 
<laughs> I'm getting confused. Mars black has got um, green in it, blue in it, yellow, pink, black. All those other colours. <laughs> no, actually, it's got a, it's got blue in it. Um, so, if you mix that with yellow, obviously, it's going to make a green colour. So we just put some trees and things. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm making it up as I go along. Put a shadow. I like to play sometimes. Well, I, I play most days, actually. I'm talking about playing, I actually do. I, I, I like my, my Xbox, my PlayStation. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I got an Xbox and a PlayStation. But I do like my PS4 more than my Xbox. I don't know why, I just do. And I've been playing Red Dead Online for quite a while now. So, if you see me running around the woods, this actually reminds me of a part of that. You've got a camera and all on Red Dead Redemption, you're, you're, you're running around as a, as, um, a cowboy, in fact. And um, some people would say, um, I've been a cowboy most of my life. But <laughs> and you're running around, you've got a camera and you, you can do all these paint, uh, these uh, photographs and things. And I'm thinking, I, I might do that one day. I might, I might take some pictures of the, the landscapes in Red Dead Redemption 2. It is absolutely Phenomenal! I must say, it, it, the, the artwork, the groundwork that's gone into that, but actual, um, it's it's a beautiful game. It is a beautiful game, and I'm I'm actually tempted to paint some paintings of some of the characters. And um, I was going to do some live streaming. I'm with Red Dead Redemption, and as I do that, I was going to paint as well. And I thought well, that might be a good idea. That might actually work. We don't know until we try these things. Um, I tell you what I'm going to have to do now. I'm going to have to dry that because I, I, I want to put some mist in there. Yeah, so um, you can go around and you can take photographs um, of the area that you were playing in. And um, I thought that's a fantastic idea. I might just do that. I might just do that. I'm gonna put some mist in. Put some rolling mist. rolling mist in that water. Let's get some shadow coming in like this. Maybe a few little highlights on the water like that. Just have fun, just enjoy, just Make it up as you go along. A bit of shadow. See a bit more blue in the water there. It's a misty old morning this morning. And then. Um, it's a nice morning if you if you're into fishing you could be standing by there and you could be fishing. Can't you just have some trout for breakfast? Oh that would be nice. Nice fresh trout for breakfast. Do you like fish? I like fish. I don't I don't I don't I eat a lot of salmon actually. I do. I eat a lot of salmon. It's quite a nice fish to eat. It's really good, really healthy for you. A lot of omega-3 in salmon. Really is. There we go. What can I say? So, let's get some more yellow. And as I said, just using a paint this, that I find lying around on my palette because I've done another lesson. 
and just put some shh, I don't know. stuff in like this. Just tr when you do things like this, um, please just trust me and and just try different techniques as you're doing it because sometimes what's going to happen is you're going to go wow that's amazing and other times you're going to go oh that, that's bad that's really bad but you don't know and we don't know until we try we don't know until we we try all these different things and this these, these, these different techniques and stuff because what's life about if we don't if we don't practice and we, and we don't we don't learn by mistakes um as I have said it so many times before, that's why we walk. And we're not crawling round on all floors. F floors, all f on the floor, and all fours. Because at the end of the day, that's a, we've fallen down so many times. And as Batman says, why do we fall down? So we can get back up. <laughs> so um, let's get into a scrippy liney brush. Scrippy liney brush. Yes, a scrippy liney brush. Let's just um, black in the eye. There we go. Medium. It's nice and thin. And it's like water. There we go. It doesn't matter on paper, as I'm saying. It doesn't matter on paper. Let's put in some. Riverbank type of. Bull rushes, maybe, or something like that. I don't know. Could be anything, couldn't it, really? Could be anything, really. If we want to put some bull rushes in, we could do some bull rushes. Yeah, put a couple of bull rushes in there like that. And we've always got a little bit of cotton type of fluff on them. Just like that. Wow. Amazing, isn't it? Amazing what you can do when you have fun. And I'm all about fun. I'm not on I'm not on about perfection. I don't like perfection. Never have, never will. I just want to just enjoy my my fun. It's like when I'm when I'm playing Red Dead Online. You know, I'm not I'm not worried too much about going round and maxing out my scores and stuff like this. I just want to I just want to go around and I want to go fishing. I want to go hunting and you know, it's all about just having fun and enjoying. enjoying things many people like to do jigsaws and things like that and what do they do when they finish a jigsaw they do another one why because it's just fun a bit of red in a painting always goes well there what we could do what we could do i got an old fan brush here why not let's let's have a bit of fun today Let's have a bit of fun. Let's just mix up any old paint here now we've got here. And let's just put some let's get a little bit of darker colour than that. We don't we want it a bit darker than that. There we are. Let's just put a maybe a remnant of a tree there. Let's get some Apple blossom or whatever. Let's just put that in there. It's just hanging off the side of the canvas. There you go. Just a bit of colour. Doesn't have to be anything particular. Let's have a bit of fun. One of them trees. Doesn't look much like a tree, Clive. Well, what we can do is we can get a, a thin Brush. And this is not the best of the uh, script lining brushes that I've got. So it tends to be a bit thick, and I don't really like this one. But... 
we can put a few branches and things like that just maybe just coming down don't want to put too many in do we no. we could put a, a couple of twigs sticking out the grass like that you don't know you have fun you you make it up you make it up as you go along there we are now I'm in a position now where I could start actually making a mess of this So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead actually. I'm just gonna put one more little detail in. I just want a little bit more white. Oof, where'd that black come from? I wasn't going to, but I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to put a bit more paint on my palette. There we go. I'm just gonna get a bit of paint. That's better. Okay, let's just put a bit of. I just want to highlight some of this rolling type of mist. There, like that. Just a rolling, a little bit of rolling mist. Maybe. Highlight a few. Stop by your head. Thank you very much for watching. Have a bit of fun. Experiment with any old paints and um, just go and create and enjoy the joy of painting. Thank you very much. I should have to buy it.